Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022. This is a general reading and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on with you for the second half of March. For the situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by Judgment. Is there a discernment you're trying to make here about a particular conversation or how to go about either talking to somebody or taking some action towards someone. So it could be the other person um, who is trying to make a discernment here or some kind of a decision based on what it is that they should do in terms of action or in terms of conversation. We'll see more when we clarify. For your energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Oh, okay, so it feels like you're trying to gradually move towards some kind of an ending that feels to be very painful for you. But what's interesting is that even though you are moving in that direction, it also feels like you're also kind of blocking yourself from moving in that direction, possibly because it's, it's feeling like it's going to be very, very painful or it's something that might even be a little bit scary for you. Let's see, for them we have the Temperance card, the Magician, and the Six of Pentacles. This person is in a bit of a different kind of an energy here. It's like they're trying to... I feel like they're being patient throughout this process, either trying to keep some kind of a balance between the two of you or just being patient in terms of feeling like, you know what, it's okay, you know, things might seem like they're moving towards an ending, but in the long run, you know, everything is going to work out. It almost comes in as them not really believing that, that this is really an ending. Um, for some of them, they might even be trying to give to you now, now that you're trying to move in a direction of ending this, they're trying to give something to you or trying to give something back. Or, you know, if they weren't giving much before, it's like they're, they're trying to give more now. But then at the same time, it's like, I'm not getting that they really feel this ending at the moment. So it could be that that's what this conversation is about, trying to make a decision about having a conversation about this. For the potential outcome here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, really, really interesting because this talks about um, long-term commitment. Of course, though, it could be also just coming to some kind of um, an agreement, like, you know, finding stability. And for some of you, it could actually even be, you know, with this person that you're still together, but maybe this ending is ending something within the connection and not necessarily the connection itself. So it really is going to depend, but the potential outcome is looking pretty good either way. All right, let's clarify. So let's see the Eight of Wands with Judgment. The lovers, the magician showing up again, and the sun. Okay, wow. So three major arcana cards clarifying your main situation here, which also includes a major arcana card. So yeah, I feel like this is this is a big deal. This is a big deal, whatever is going on here. Um, we definitely have um, Gemini energy, Leo, as well as Aries showing up in this reading. But of course, you could be dealing with any sign. Oh, we also do have Sagittarius as well. Yeah, this is this is a major decision that one of the two of you is trying to make. It could be the other person, but 
because they have the, ma um, the magician, which is showing up here. But again, it feels like this other person here really feels like everything is going to work out, like we're going to be happy, everything is going to be okay, no matter what decision is made. Um, we can work this out. I see them being very, very optimistic, whereas you are not so optimistic. Let's see, let's get a little deeper here. Let's see that Knight of Pentacles for your energy. All right, the Six of Wands and the Emperor. It's interesting though, because it's like here though, I'm seeing that you, you are actually feeling like like you can be successful as well when it comes to this ending. So um, I'm curious to see what we're going to get with that Seven of Wands, like why, why it's like you're blocking it. Because I feel like, you know, there's this part of you that's really determined, really feeling optimistic as well, that you can go through with whatever it is that that you're trying to go through with. So your optimism is actually a little different from theirs. Um, it's like you're feeling like, you know, you got this, on the one hand at least. Like trusting yourself basically, trusting trusting this path. Let me see the Ten of Swords. The Star, okay, so Aquarius energy, and the Queen of Swords, all right, which is you here. something here that that has created a lot of pain for you all right I see all right so you're the reason why I feel like you haven't like 100% made this decision and this decision is still like in the um, present time here at least for the time span of this reading is because <clears throat> on the one hand you're feeling this pain so there's this part of you that's thinking about okay moving towards ending whatever it is that's creating the pain for you but then on the other hand you're you're wondering if maybe this is something that can actually be healed even within the connection and this is only going to resonate for for a certain um group of you it's not going to be for everybody i feel like for some of you it's just one or the other and then for others of you it's actually trying to um it's both and that's why you're having a hard time making a decision because you're feeling the pain so you want to walk away from it and then on the other hand you're feeling well what if this is something I can heal and still be here so yeah Libra let's see I feel like your intuition is really guiding you in the right direction and it's just a matter of tuning in and not only that with this star card you do have divine support in whatever it is that you decide to do, whatever you feel is is the best for you. Either way, you can heal. Um, whether you end up, whatever you end up deciding, okay, if that's you trying to make a decision here, and I really feel like it is. Um, let's see the Seven of Wands. The Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so it's like you're you're really trying to stand your ground here. I feel like you might be keeping a distance from this person until you have it all all figured out, or you just kind of have like your your guard up. You have like this wall built around you, um, and it's like yeah, you know when you when you're moving towards this ending, you kind of stop yourself because then you think, well, what if I can heal this? For some of you and for others of you, you stop yourself because the ending might just feel scary and you're not sure if you can heal after that. And I feel like this really has to do with your with your own self here, like really just trusting yourself, um, having the confidence 
to really follow your intuition and what you feel is best for you and having the confidence to know that, you know, whatever you decide, you will recover, you can heal, you do have divine support. You have what it takes. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this temperance card. All right, the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, I love how we keep getting these repeating cards. Yeah, this person is really believing that everything is gonna work out in the long term between the two of you. This is somebody who wants commitment. I don't know if they're, um, I mean, I don't really necessarily see them taking much action. I mean, we do have the Magician. I, I feel like though they really are trying to manifest this, but maybe in a way where it's not so like action oriented, maybe it's in a way that's a little bit more indirect because I also see them being, being patient and just trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the balance, just waiting this out and you know, feel they're feeling like, you know what, we are going to work this out and we are going to be together in the long term. <clears throat> So again, I feel like they're they're giving to you, but they're giving to you. Um, they're not breadcrumbing you. It feels more like they're just kind of giving you one piece at a time to make sure that they don't like disrupt a process or like they don't um, pressure you or or maybe even themselves. All right, let's see the magician. The King of Cups and the Tower. Ooh. All right. So this person does hold a lot of love for you. They have a lot of deep emotions for you. So this is why like they have this optimism, like they just cannot imagine this not working out. Um, but I do now see that they are doing something that's not really helping you. It feels like, you know, whatever it is that they're doing or the way that they're going about this is actually, um, I feel like it's creating a response in you, which is then triggering for them. Like, that's like the consequence for them. Let me see the Six of Pentacles. The Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, you know, regardless of them being triggered or whatever it is that they're actually manifesting in reality, they're still hoping for this reconciliation with you. They're still believing, like it's like the same message. They're still believing that, you know, everything is going to work out and we're going to be happy and everything is going to be great. Um, And again, it does come in like this person really does care about you. They have emotions. They really do care about you. They want, it's like they're giving you something here. So I wouldn't be surprised if for some of you this is actually very literal and you receive a gift from this person. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this is this is a message for you, Libra, that um, trusting yourself is really important here. Trusting yourself is really important because there is the potential here of kind of staying in this, right? Staying in this commitment in the way that it is and not much changing and I really feel like it goes back to, you know, you having your, your guard up here, you having your wall up or even blocking your path in terms of which way you want to go, what decision you want to make. And I feel like you can have, you know, something very beautiful either with this person or with somebody else that's going to be very committed, very long term, very stable, um, very fulfilling. But staying in the same kind of a cycle will, 
will keep you feeling like this eight of swords, like you don't know which way to go. And a lot of this has to do with releasing something from the past. Not dwelling on what happened in the past and just, you know, trusting the path forward. This person definitely um, wants to be with you in the long term. That's very clear here. So it, I feel like it really is like the ball is in your court. And you're being asked here to really follow, follow your heart. You don't have to rush. Um, sometimes we do need time and it's okay to stay in the same situation for a while until we are able to process. Um, but I feel like, you know, this could go either way and it's, and it doesn't mean that it's permanent either way. Okay. So, you know, if you find yourself towards the end of the month still being in this and you, you're not feeling happy, okay, well, you know, there's always, you know, today, <laughs> the next day, next week. So don't, don't stress too much about it. All right, Libra. So if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have intuition. Exactly what I was just saying. Listen to the whispers of your heart. <laughs> Uh, use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. There's no need to be afraid of that Ten of Swords, all right? You have the star here supporting you, supporting your intuition. All right, you have the star, I mean, together with the Queen of Swords, which is you. Trust your intuition no matter what. You will heal, you will recover, and you will be okay. All right, Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.